Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. Please remember to like and share this video and subscribe our valuable channel. You can also follow our social media. In this video, we will together design this really appealing slide in just PowerPoint. All right, so as you can see on this slide, the main, um, the main object is this photo that is really creatively cropped to this kind of shape, right? So I think, um, yeah, we can start with, uh, with this one. So let's create new slide new slide right click and choose layout as a blank all right so the first step uh, will be to copy and paste this this photo so i have prepared a little bit earlier this photo so Control c and Control v let's position it right here all right so yeah but as you can see on this original slide, this photo is cropped to this kind of rectangles, right? With uh, to these rectangles, and there are some the there are these uh, gaps with uh, with white color, right? And that's a main reason why it looks really appealing. So yeah, so let's do the same. So you have to create just a rectangle. So create a rectangle, and you have to adjust the size to these rectangles. So let's do so. Yeah, something like that. And here, yeah. All right, it doesn't matter what color is it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So we have to create a copy of that to the top. So control shift and drag to the top perfectly. And also let's position it something like uh, yeah like here all right so yeah we need as a third copy of this shape all right perfectly so as you can see right now we have three rectangles right so we have to make these gaps between these uh, shapes the same so we have to select these three rectangles from top to bottom or from bottom to the top so let's do so by Control or shift key all right as you can see these three rectangles are selected so now go to the shape format align and align vertically all right so now we have to group these uh, these three shapes. So Control and G, and as you can see right now, it's uh, just a group, perfectly. Uh, yeah. So let's cut it. So Control and X, and paste it right here. Control and V, perfectly. So now we have to uh, we have to select we have to duplicate these objects sometimes. So yeah, control shift and drag, control shift and drag, control shift and drag. And a last copy we have to, the, it's important. The last copy has to be right to the end of your slide. So yeah, so right here, perfectly. And now we have to uh, make the spaces between them, between them the same. So select from right to the left or from left to the right of these groups by shift or control and also shape format, align and distribute horizontally. Actually, as you can see, this gap is a little bit too, is too loose. So we have to copy one more time. Yeah, and now we have to we have to align them, so distribute horizontally. Yeah, perfect. That is starting uh, looking really good. <clears throat> All right, so now please select these three. Uh, I will show you. Let's select these three groups 
and let's move them to the bottom a little bit. For example, right here. All right, we are nearly there. So now we have to select all of these groups. All right. We, now we have to ungroup them. So Control Shift and G. Perfect. Now once more we have to select all all of them. Perfect. And now there will be a little bit advanced trick, but go to the shape format, merge shapes and union these shapes. So as you can see right now, it's only one shape. There are no any groups. There are no um, some shapes. It's just one shape, right? Perfectly. And now we have to as a first select our photo and as a second select this shape. And now also go to the shape format, merge shapes, but this one choose intersect. And as you can see, it looks really awesome. It looks stunning, right? And we only, uh, it only took, took us about three minutes, two minutes. So yeah, I think it's worth. So this, um, this photo was the most difficult thing um, on this slide. So now it will be really easy. All right, let's uh, get into typography. So this is a title of this slide, rectangle photo slide. And generally I used railway uh, font. So yeah, control C and control V to paste this title. As you can see, railway extra bold and color is kinda, it's light black, right? Perfectly. The next, the next thing is this uh, rectangle that is kind of divider of between title and this body text. All right, Control X and Control V to paste it. And let's say we would like the same color as this title. So go to the shape fill, but this one choose eyedropper and just hover on this color of this title, right? Just click it. Now we have the exact color perfectly. So this body text is generated by Lorem Ipsum and the size of this uh, text box is 14. Uh, font is railway light. And I will show you how to generate Lorem Ipsum. You have to type something like the, and in brackets, you can choose a uh, digit from one to three this indicates amount of paragraphs so click enter as you can see it's beautifully automatically generated so copy that all right so yeah now this uh this uh code by john kennedy so as you can see you may wonder how i created uh this rectangle right so uh let's copy it and I will show you what I mean. As you can see, the color of our background is pure white. And color of this rectangle is also a pure white, so the same color, right? But as you can see, there is something here and something and something here, right? So that's a shadow. By the way, I will be recording a, a new video about shadow but but yeah but let's get into it right now so you have to right click on this shape and format shape go right here and here you have shadow so as you can see um i think uh yeah basically it will be hard to you to understand uh these kind of things right now but like i said before i will record a, a new video about it so yeah so it will not be a rocket science for you so basically, uh, this effect is uh, done with shadow and that's what you need to know. All right, the next thing is this quote, uh, quote mark. So yeah, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And basically, I um, how I uh, done it, I just inserted a new text box, typed, uh, typed just a quote mark and really I really, really increased uh, the text box. So yeah, it looks like that. But of course I changed a font, right? All right, the next thing is uh, this code. So yeah, railway bold, 
24 of size so just ctrl c and ctrl v the only reason to give a speech is to change the word perfectly a cool quote and the last thing is to paste this author so john f kennedy and as you can see right here it's italic so that's normal text but i decided to uh, indicate that this is an author so just click italic perfectly so now as you can see if i select this um, if i allow this italic feature now these letters are kind of rotated right perfectly so let's preview our work yeah it looks really cool especially uh this uh this image right because it's really creatively done uh, with this kind of with this kind of uh, shape right because if you if you used just a normal photo uh let me show you that if you if you used just a normal photo it would not uh, look so good so yeah i will show you so yeah let's preview this is just a slide with just a photo and this is our original slide with the photo but this photo is really creatively cropped so yeah you can write on your own that's a that's a really change right uh yeah perfectly so i hope you really liked this slide design please subscribe our channel uh share this video to your friends if you <laughs> if you have some friends that are interested in powerpoint design have a great day and lead a happy life excellent slides